Ever wish you knew simple techniques for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division? Now simplifying the whole process of addition, multiplication etc. will make things a lot more simpler especially if you are preparing for an entrance exam where time happens to be a limit, isn't it? So especially you need to do the calculations very fast to do multiplications, to do subtraction and addition very fast where you are not allowed to use a calculator. If you can simplify the whole process of these mathematical calculations, things become very easy and very simple. Now I wish I knew all these concepts and these simple tricks and techniques when I was studying in school and I wish that all of you know these, whether you are a school student or whether you're studying in college. Now these techniques will help you in a number of ways, whether you are appearing for a simple mathematics examination or whether you're appearing for a common entrance exam or a banking exam or an exam of any level where calculators are not allowed, now these techniques will come in handy. Now what are these techniques? Now these are the techniques. Now these are very simple techniques of Vedic mathematics and today we shall go through three simple techniques of addition, of multiplication and subtraction. Just keep watching the video and I'm sure you'll really be surprised how easy it is to either add, multiply and subtract. So we'll go through three simple techniques. Now let's begin with the first one. The first one where squaring of a number ending with 5. So in case I need to square a number which ends with 5, right? Now say I need to find 45 square. Now since we need to find the square of 45, what do you do? Take the first number, multiply it with the first number with 1 added to it. So it becomes 4 into 5 which is 20 and you just attach 25. So 2025 is the answer. So 45 square is 2025. So what is the procedure? Take the first number, multiply it with the first number plus 1 and then put 25 at the end and you get the number. So 45 square is 2025. Let's take a couple of other examples. Let's say I need to find 25 square. Take the first number 2, multiply it with first number plus 1 is 3, so which is 6 attached to 5. So 625 is 25 square. How easy it is. So let's take 55 square, take the first number which is 5, multiply it with the first number plus 1 which is 6. So 5 into 6 is 30, attach 25, so you get 3025 which is the answer. Let's take 65 square. So take the first number 6 into 6 plus 1 which is 7, which is 42, attach 25, you get the answer. Right? So a very simple way to find the square of a number which ends with 5 by using techniques of Vedic mathematics. Here you will be able to find the answer within seconds. So this is the first trick. So let's move on with the second trick. Multiply any number with 5. Say I have a large number, say let the number, number be 2, 4, 6, 2. So I need to multiply this by 5 and this would take a lot of time, right? So I have to do 5 into 2 which is 0 with a 1 carry and so on. So the whole process of multiplication would take a lot of time. So let's see how this can be solved very easily using the principles of Vedic mathematics. So what is the procedure? The procedure is consider the given number which is 2462 divided by 2. So dividing any number by 2 is very easy. So I get 1, 2, 3, 1. Right? And then if the result is a whole number, there are no fractions, isn't it? So if the result is a whole number, you add 0 at the end. And that is the answer. Okay? So when I divide any number by 2, either you get a whole number or you get 0.5, a fraction. There are only two possibilities. Okay. So if the number is even, I get the whole number. You just divide it by 2, add a 0 and that's the answer. Now let's take another case. 
let's assume that the number is 3773 3. I divided by 2 so it is 1 with a 1 carry so I have 8 and then again I have 1 carry 8 so 2 into 8 is 16 with a 1 carry then I have 6 so 2 into 6 is 12 I get 0.5 right so here if I get ignore 0 0.5 and attach 5 at the end so 18865 is the answer right it's as simple as that so let's take another example say 3 4 5 6 into 5 so what is the answer divide this by 2 so I get 1 7 2 8 okay so it's a whole number add a 0 this is the answer now if I have 125 I need to multiply this by 5 I do 125 by 2 which is 60 2.5 so ignore 0 0.5 and attach 5 to 62 you get the answer right so what is the simple procedure the simple procedure is if I have to multiply any number with 5 right so step 1 divide by 2 step 2 when I divide the given number by 2 if I get the whole number if I get a whole number that means if the given number is even then I get a whole number then in that case just append or attach a zero at the end attach a zero at the end and that is the answer right step 3 so if the given number is an odd number then I would get 0.5 okay so ignore 0 0.5 right so ignore 0 0.5 at the end and attach 5 okay so when I divide the given number you ignore 0 0.5 and attach 5 to this answer to get the final answer so you can find the answer to any given number into 5 by using these three steps Okay, so let's move on with the next one. So let's take another case where I need to subtract from either 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh and so on. So 1 followed by 0. So if I have to subtract from these numbers, numbers like these, 1 followed by all zeros, what do I do? Let's take an example. Say I need to find 1000 minus 473, right? So instead of doing the whole process of subtraction, what do I do? You subtract all these numbers from 9 and the last number from 10. That means I have 4 and 7. So subtract these two numbers from 9 that that means 9 minus 4 so I get 5 9 minus 7 I get 2 and the last number I need to subtract it from 10 so I get 7 so the final answer is 5 to 7 so what is the rule here if I have to subtract from 1 followed by zeros then the rule is you need to subtract all the numbers the rule is subtract all the numbers from 9 except the last one and the last number from 10 so let's take another example so let's assume that I have 10,000 minus 1049 so what is the answer I need to subtract 104 from 9 isn't it so 9 minus 1 is 8 9 minus 0 is 9 9 minus 4 is 5 and the last one I need to subtract it from 10 so 10 minus 9 is 1 so this is the answer in the first case we saw how we can find the square of any given number which ends with 5 in the second case we have seen how we can find 5 into a given number answer to a given number multiplied with 5 and here in the third case we have seen how we can subtract any given number from 1 followed by zeros.
right so these techniques are so simple and so easy and the most important thing is it saves a lot of time especially when you have to write an examination especially an entrance exam say a multiple choice where you have a time limit and these techniques will come in handy right? so make sure that you do like share and subscribe and do watch out for the next video for such interesting techniques of Vedic mathematics which will simplify the whole process of multiplication addition division and subtraction and do not forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads. Thanks for watching.